Welcome to the Nintendo Wiretap. My name is Amiibo Jason, and on today's episode, we're talking about the Nintendo Switch Lite. That's right, after months of speculation, it's finally here, we have the details. So, without further ado, let's take a look and see if it was worth the wait. Man oh man, what a great day to be a Nintendo fan. Nothing like waking up early in the morning to the news that Nintendo isn't just releasing a new game, but they're releasing a brand new system. That's right, the Nintendo Switch Lite is confirmed. It's essentially the Nintendo Switch Mini that we have been teased with for months now. There's been leaks, there's been case renders, and in fact, this system was officially leaked all the way back in April, but guess what? Nobody believed it was real. But guess what? It is. So let's take a look at what this thing has, what it doesn't have, and in the end, we're gonna decide if it's worth your hard-earned money. All right, let's take a look at the easy stuff first. So first and foremost, yes, this is a smaller version of the Nintendo Switch, and it's coming out on September 20th of this year for $199. That's right, that's a full $100 off the Nintendo Switch price point. But you guys knew all of that already, so let's take a look at the specifications on this thing and see how Nintendo was able to cut 100 bucks off the MSRP. Okay, so like we said before, this is obviously a smaller system, but the specifics are not incredibly crazy when you think about it. So the old Switch was 4 inches high and 9.4 inches long. This new one is 3.6 inches high and 8.2 inches long. So on the width, it's about right around an inch shorter. And on the height, it's right about half an inch, a little bit less actually. But besides that, the weight isn't that crazy. The old Nintendo Switch was 10.5 ounces, this new one is 9.7 ounces. Not a massive weight loss, but still, it's nice to have. Now the big thing here is the display size. I know a lot of people were really interested to see what the display on this would be. The rumors were that the Switch Mini was gonna get a 1080p display. Sadly, that's not the case here. That's right, the display resolution on this thing is still 720p, but the screen is obviously smaller. The original Switch was 6.2 inches, but the new Nintendo Switch Lite has a 5.5 inch screen. And honestly, the Nintendo Switch, even with having a 720p display originally, it really looked great. There was a lot of games that looked better on this screen compared to how it looked on the big screen in 1080p. So the fact that this has a smaller screen and still has 720p, I imagine games are gonna look just as good, if not better. So the fact that it doesn't have a 1080p display isn't a complete deal breaker. It would have been nice to have, but really it's not the end of the world here. Now the next important thing on this one is the battery life. So the battery life went from on the original Switch 2.5 to 6.5 hours, which 6.5 hours was kind of on the long side. Honestly, I can't remember any time I got 6.5 hours of battery on it, but still. The Nintendo Switch Lite, on the other hand, is giving you about an extra 30 minutes of gameplay. So we have 3 to 7 hours. And they're even doing that with a smaller battery, which is kind of crazy. All right, those are the main specs, so let's move on to the other changes in this thing. One thing that I absolutely love about this is the fact that the Joy-Con are gone and everything is kind of unified in the body. And what's this? What do I see here? Yes, finally, Nintendo has brought back the D-pad. The D-pad was one of these things that I wanted so badly officially on the Nintendo Switch. There was companies like Hori that put out a third-party D-pad option, but it wasn't the same. So this is a really, really nice thing to see. So yes, the D-pad is indeed back, but unfortunately, Nintendo did have to cut some corners to get this thing pretty much to the price point it needed to be at, and I'm guessing there was other reasons behind this as well, but Nintendo had to strip out HD rumble and the infrared sensor. Now, the infrared sensor I never really used, so I'm not really too heartbroken about that, but I like rumble. In fact, back in the day when Star Fox 64 came out, I was obsessed with the Rumble Pack. I thought it was the coolest piece of tech, and I've loved Rumble ever since, so I am gonna miss it on this version of the Nintendo Switch. But I know a lot of people really don't care a whole lot about Rumble, but like I said before, I'm a big fan of it. Now, one thing that is not missing, thank God, is the NFC touchpad. That's right, Amiibo are still compatible with this version of the Nintendo Switch, and honestly, this was something I was actually really concerned that Nintendo might cut, but it's really nice to see that it is indeed in the Nintendo Switch Lite. So, if you're like me and have a massive amiibo collection, you can rest easy. The Nintendo Switch Lite can take care of all of that for you. 
All right, now on to the massive elephant in the room, and that is what this thing can't do. Now, obviously, the Nintendo Switch got its name because, well, you could switch between having a portable console and a home console, but with the Nintendo Switch Lite, that is not the case. Nintendo has confirmed that this will not support dock play whatsoever, so you can't hook it up to your TV. This thing is completely for portable use only. Now, for a lot of people, that's not going to be a bad thing. I mean, personally, I use my Switch pretty much exclusively in handheld mode, but there are certain things that I want to put it on the TV, I want to share it with my family. I mean, games like Mario Party, it's, it's just a blast to play on the big screen, even though I really don't do it all that often. So I am kind of heartbroken that there is no way to hook this thing up to a TV. Now, is that a deal breaker? For me, not necessarily, but Nintendo has to do some things here for this to work. If I do pick this up, I'm obviously not going to be replacing my standard Nintendo Switch with this. I want the Nintendo Switch Lite to be a companion to my Nintendo Switch, so if I'm going somewhere, I can take my Lite with me and have all of the same content that I have on my bigger Switch. Now, Nintendo has been making improvements in this department with the inclusion of cloud saves all the way back with Nintendo Switch Online, but there are some concerns. First and foremost, not every game supports cloud saves. For instance, Pokemon doesn't do it. The upcoming Animal Crossing New Horizons is confirmed to not take advantage of cloud saves. And for me, that could be a huge deal breaker. I do want to use the Nintendo Switch Lite for my Animal Crossing town, take it with me, just really enjoy the portable aspect of Animal Crossing. But then when I get home, I just want to share my town with my family and friends. I want to hook it up on the big screen. Now, if there is a way that I can take the save data from the Nintendo Switch Lite and seamlessly and easily move it over to the full-sized Nintendo Switch, then yes, I am going to pick this thing up. But if that's not an option, it's going to be a major deal breaker for myself and I know a lot of other Nintendo fans out there too. All right, next up, let's talk about the colors of this thing. So first and foremost, we have the standard traditional gray, my least favorite. We have turquoise and a yellow version as well. But that's not all. We have something even cooler here, and this is something that's releasing a little bit later, November 8th, with Pokemon Sword and Shield, and that is the Pokemon Sword and Shield Limited Edition. This thing looks absolutely amazing, and it's given me a lot of hope for what Nintendo might release in the future. Now, I am kind of bummed that Nintendo decided not to do a Link's Awakening Special Edition, but our very own Tom Brown, you might know him from our D-Make series right here on our YouTube channel, he decided to mock some of these things up, so we don't have to wait for Nintendo to make them. So we have a Link's Awakening version, which I absolutely love, a Breath of the Wild, and of course, an Animal Crossing New Horizons Limited Edition. Now, like I said before, these are mock-ups. I would love for these to be real, and I'm guessing Nintendo is going to come out with an official Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch bundle at some point, but only time is going to tell. But there you go, that's everything we know so far about the upcoming Nintendo Switch Lite. Like I said before, I have some reservations on this thing. The fact that you can't hook this up to a TV really breaks my heart, but like I said, if Nintendo can do something with their cloud saves to make it more of a companion device than a standalone product, I am going to pick this thing up on day one. But what do you guys think about this? Are you a fan of this design? Do you like the smaller form factor? Are you heartbroken about certain things? Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. And if you're planning on picking one of these up, let us know why. Now, if you do want to pick one of these up, we do have links in the description down below that leads to the placeholder pages that are up right now. Now, at the time of this recording, these have not gone up for sale in any other location other than the UK. But fear not, Nintendo Wire is here for you to let you know the moment these things go in stock. So follow us on Twitter and make sure to turn those notifications on. And that's going to wrap up tonight's episode of the Nintendo Wiretap. Now, one more thing I want to mention right before we go tonight is we are very, very, very close to our 100,000th subscriber. It's a milestone we've been going after for a pretty long time here. So if you are brand new to this channel and you want to give us some support, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, first and foremost, thank you. But make sure to share this with your friends too to help us hit 100,000 before the end of this year. Thanks again for watching, and as always, until next time, stay wired in. Bye, guys. Wow.